Hi, this is Darman, and welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world. And we're like, we're like walking practically down Main Street here in the town. And uh, in the last video, we built this lovely piece of real estate over here, which is currently uh, being occupied by a whole bunch of pigs for some reason. There's one just walked past me in the street, and there were several out here. So let me just go ahead and, and fly out here. And, oh, there's some cows out there. It's very, uh, oh, and sheep. There's all kinds of critters just floating around. Oh, and one's going for a swim. Uh, yeah, so this is what we built last time. Some, uh, some terrain. It's uh, looking good there, ready to go. And uh, so we are going to go ahead and get started. We're going to follow this pig right over here to this corner. Uh, because as usual, we are going to start with the entrance way. We're going to find the entrance way, and I've got some uh, some uh, birch and some spruce planks ready to go here. And I had to really think about that again. Okay, so uh, right here from this corner, for coffee corner, uh, we are going to go to the seventh block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we're going to need some uh, spruce here. Uh, this is going to be, uh, what, two blocks wide. Uh, so we're just going to uh, knock it out two blocks deep as well and uh, just create the normal sort of checkered pattern here uh, with the wood okay so this is where our two double doors are going to be to go in now the building starts over here two blocks away from the uh, from both um, sidewalks so if you go two blocks in and two blocks over uh, so this this building although it's certainly a lot easier than building that um, that frog game uh, it, it's, it has its own challenges, uh, and that is that it's using some materials that are, are some are very easy, very generally very easy to work with, like these uh, oak, uh, I'm sorry, uh, spruce logs that we're going to use on the corners. Uh, but it also uses uh, some uh, lantern, redstone lanterns, and uh, note blocks on the front, which uh, isn't so bad, you know, like doing a checkered pattern, but. <laughs> The problem with note blocks, of course, is you you have to, in order to put one note block or put anything on top of a note block, you have to crouch in order to do that. Otherwise, it just uh, plays a, a note for you. There you go. It's just changing my notes. That's not, not helpful. Uh, so doing the first layer is piece of cake. The second layer gets tricky because you have to go real slow and just crouch along it. Um, there's another alternate method, which I'm going to sort of quickly show you uh but but let's get um let's just get some dimensions down here okay so uh from here we want to go 27 blocks in that direction uh, and i'm going to mark that normally i would just drag the material along but it's uh we're just going to have to do uh i'm just going to count and and put the corner uh post for the uh the spruce down there so we've got one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that looks about right. Uh, so that's going to be four blocks high there. Uh, so in between these two, now we can we can do what we're uh, trying to do in the first place, which is to do the uh, the load pattern. So it's going to start over here. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, redstone lanterns, and they're going to go. Well, you know, just every other one for now. This is this is the easy part. This is, uh, uh, I was about to say we could, we could leave them off of there, but for now we're gonna we'll put them on. And we'll, we'll just fill them. We'll knock them out when we make the doors uh, in a little bit. So then the other piece, of course, is the uh, the note block. We're just gonna put these in here. So this is where uh, we just have to pay attention to where the pattern starts. We want to make sure this corner is the redstone lantern. Uh, if it's op if you end up being opposite, you know. It's going to make it harder to uh, follow my instructions later when we have to tell I have to tell you like where to put the switches because some of these have uh, s um, levers on the back to turn them on you know to so that they light up so just make sure that that one is a lantern and you should end up uh, with a lantern on this side as well if everything has gone well otherwise double check your dimensions uh, before going forward so um, like I said if you, in order to go from here and you have to crouch in order to uh, oops, uh, which I didn't do. Uh, no, I don't want to put that there. You have to crouch in order to do the second layer like this, which is a little tedious because you have to kind of go slow. Uh, one other method, the method that I actually used when I built this in my other world uh, was I took some, and it doesn't matter what material, as long as it's not this material, you could use diamond. Uh, what I ended up doing was um, building dirt. Um, I, I built dirt walls behind these walls. So essentially I just kind of did this uh, I won't I won't go all the way across right now, but um, 
I did this all the way around. I, I figured out the you know once I did the dimensions, I put dirt all behind it like this. That way it was just much easier to, uh, you know, kind of go like this and this and this and this and not you know. So you kind of have to weigh the. I, I don't know if that really saved any time between you know rather than um, you know doing the the crouching and walking around slowly, but um, that, that's just you know, that, that's the one other method that I, that's that I used. So. Uh, let's hold off on doing anything more. Let's just get the raw dimensions in there. Uh, then I'll let you figure out how you want to do it. Fill this in and um, and we'll, we'll go from there. So uh, on this side is another 27 blocks. So let's grab my my uh, spruce here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so that should end up even with the uh, the end there uh, just make that four high and uh now this side starts with let's see oh gosh let me look at my map okay this side also starts with the um the redstone lantern and looks like it ends also ends with a redstone lantern so it should if we do this mm -hmm. this is a good way to kind of double check before you move on like that okay so that's good so we're going to leave that like that uh, and then on the back part, we have to, let's see, it's going to actually start with a note block this time. Uh, so, uh, well, actually, let's, let's, before we get, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, we want to go 14 blocks in this direction. One, two, th down a little bit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll just stack, whoa, we'll just stack four uh, on top of there. Uh, so then, uh, yeah, so that's no blocks there and it should should end with a Lantern, so let's see what happens as we do this and good. Yeah, that's gonna end uh, with a lantern there uh, So let's go and do this. Uh, there's a little kind of L. It's not a square building. Of course. We know that uh, so the L shape is, uh, is gonna come in here and It's another f it's well. It's really yeah a total of 14 blocks uh, here, so let's see this is a one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then should go this way. The same number. So this is going to be our first block. We're going to count this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now, without looking up, it should be matched up right with that one. Woo! Yes, that worked perfectly. Okay. Uh, so over here, this is going to start with the note block on the bottom corner here and should end up I think with a lantern yes it ends up with a uh, yeah and the lanterns gonna be there uh, and then on this side it's gonna start with a note block and let's see where we end up should be another lantern there yes that's correct and then finally on this side should start with a note block here and should end with a lantern there okay so so now we, we're sure we've got our dimensions right and so forth and uh, our checkered pattern will come out correctly uh, at this point. So uh, I am going to leave you to decide how you want to build up your layers so that, that it can be time consuming either way. Um, obviously, if you're doing the, the method here that I'm using, you don't need to you know bring that dirt level all the way down. Uh, just the, uh, the top three layers will uh, will do the trick for you. And uh, so, yeah, so let's just, uh, I'm just going to bring my, my helper in and uh, they are going to fill in the rest of this. Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, so you'll, you'll notice that um, when you get to this corner, you won't see that, that uh, post on the outside. You'll only see it on the inside. And that's, that is correct. Uh, same with the other posts on the inside. You won't, uh, you won't see them on those inside corners or the out. I don't know what you call them inside corners, outside corners, whatever. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that is the basics of it. Now here we get to the part where, uh, the roof. So the roof is, uh, the roof is, uh, this is going to be spruce stairs all around the edge there. Uh, and it's going to be uh, spruce, uh, planks on the inside. So you're going to have to start with like an edge, like right on the, one of these logs. Uh, cause for the same reason, you can't just plunk them down on there. So what I'm going to do is just point at the logs themselves at the, uh, oops, see now I did that badly, uh, at the, uh, stairs and, uh, why can't I seem to get this to work here? Uh, let's try this. Okay. There we go. So now it's coming along all the way around. So you're going to do this all the way around, uh, and, um, just work your way all the way around. 
and then um, yeah then we're just just go ahead and um, you know use the logs or logs the planks to fill in uh, what you did so once you've done that you should have this and since we're here I'm gonna grab some uh, I'm gonna grab some torches because they go on the roof I'm gonna forget to put them on otherwise so let's let's just put these on uh, we're gonna start over here and uh, let's see here mm -hmm. one two three four uh yeah four away from each edge where the actual planks are the actual you know so one two three four one two three four okay uh and then there's gonna be four in between these one two three four torch uh and then we just kind of continue down let's see there's six in between these one two three four five six torch uh and directly across from that one as well lines up with that one and we get down to let's see this one has five in between one two three four five torch and same with that right across from there uh, and then also uh looks like one two three four five torch and then six one two three four five six torch and there we go so they should have three there yep and one two three there okay so these they're just you get a parallel one here there's going to be uh four in between here one two three four torch uh and then we're just going to you know make ones that line up here uh with those oops that's that's a little bit off there uh, but no <laughs> i gotta be careful here i don't want to destroy my roof there we go um yeah, I saw a mod. I think it was a mod on um, PC where it, um, the torches only last like so long, then they go out. Can you imagine like <laughs> if that like happened? If they like, put that into this world, and then like <laughs> like after a while, just like he have to replace. Imagine all the replacing like all the torches that Stampy's got everywhere. Oh my goodness, that's that that's not a job I'm looking forward to um yeah anyway so all right so there we go that's that's our basic building uh we need windows and doors and uh, whatnot on here so speaking of doors we're just gonna go ahead and knock these out here now part of me is thinking we probably should have left the roof off give ourselves a little bit more light um but instead we're just gonna uh, well let's punch out the windows and um yeah we'll, we'll go from there and we'll, we'll put the little switches on the inside that'll start uh lighting things up nicely so the windows uh, let's see the windows are going to go from this end they go on let's see the this should be one two three four five it should be the sixth block one two three four five six let's just double check yeah, six seven and eight uh, and then we skip four one two three four and then punch out three one two three and then we should have four more one two three three yeah, something something is weird here uh, something give you oh my goodness this is in the wrong these doors are in the wrong spot <laughs> these doors are in the wrong spot which means this path is in the wrong spot um seven eight one two three four five six seven eight oh pff. <laughs> i see what i did on my map i did it wrong on my map oh my gosh now it means Okay, so I'm going to temporarily just plug this up so that it'll be easier to fix. Um, you probably already figured out that I was screwing that up. And you're like, no, Darman, don't do it. Okay, so this this is clearly in the wrong spot. I'm going to put this grass back. Wow. Um, that was that was not, not too good. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, let's let's try to figure this out here. Now there should be uh, let's see, yeah, it should be six blocks on this this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the door there. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, blocks of grass before we hit the path on that side. There we go. That that's gonna make it. Oh, wow. That's, uh, oops. No, that's going to be wrong there, isn't it? Let's put that there. And it, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. So, yeah, that, that's a bit better. Um, yeah, there we go. So, just to reiterate, after the log, uh, you've got four and then three open, 
four, three open, and then four. So that makes a nice pattern. And then there, there's nothing over here. So then on this side, we have a similar pattern. We'd say we're going to have uh, after the log one, two, three, four, uh, and then knock out one, two, three. And then we're going to keep four, one, two, three, four, knock out three. And then that's it for that side for windows. Now on the back side, there's no windows at all. And we're going to come around this side. We're like sneaking around the building. So on this side, uh, after the log, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to break out four, I think it is. Yeah, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, which should leave three showing there. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then over here, we're going to do skip these two, uh, break out two. And then we're going to skip these two, and then we're going to break out a doorway for the back door. Uh, and then skip, uh, let's see, uh, skip these two and break out these two. And then that leaves that one right there, uh, which is right. Okay, so now, uh, yeah, so we, we have to put windows in. And these are going to be window panes. And uh, we're going to have kind of the same problem as uh, we did everything else, because uh, the, the I don't know the we're just gonna have to crouch it's, it'll just be easier to just go around and, and crouch I, I can't fly when I do this there we go uh, that there and there and just do just do crouching uh, all the way around and we'll um, oh it's so slow it's it's infuriating oh we didn't do this side yet we didn't do we didn't do this side oh, stop crouching oh, <laughs> oh pardon me um, there we go pardon my backside uh, so on this other side we're going to leave four after the log. One, two, three, four. Then punch out four, and we should leave four on this side, too. There we go. All right, so we can just uh, go ahead and put these in. Yeah, doing it on the... Oh, doing it on the uh, lanterns is no problem. It's just the, the note blocks, which kind of fouls us up. Okay, so let's come around here. Uh, stop flying. Crouch, crouch, crouch. And slowly make our way over to here. Oh, goodness. Okay. And there's none on that. Oh, yeah. No, I do have some on this side. It's just the back side. That does not. Mm -hmm. And. Oh, so slow. <laughs> there we go. All right. Is that everything? I think that's I think that's all the windows that we need. So we have a little more light inside. I did them and I got these. Okay. So and we've located our back door, which is which is good. Uh, all right. Oh, good. All right. So it's it's much lighter in here. This is good. Um, all right. So let's uh, let's grab the lantern lanterns the um, the levers and um, let's put that there. It's fine. So where do the levers go? Oh, let's get rid of this dirt. Somebody didn't clean up in here. Um, all right. So the levers from the inside. So let's start with this uh, this wall here. This is the front wall, I guess, of the uh, restaurant. And uh, let's grab, I've got, oh yeah, I've already got some uh, levers here. So we're going to go uh, on this top row, we're going to go to the second uh, lantern there. And then we're going to skip one, put one here. So it should be just to the right of the doorway there. And we're going to skip two, put one here. So it should be at the end of, flick, darn you, there you go. Uh, that one is there. And then way down here towards the end, the second lantern uh, there like that. Okay, so in this second row, looks like there's one right, okay, kind of in between those two, like right in the middle of those, and down here on the third row down, there's, let's see, it's right here on these, uh, this first lantern there, right after that, uh, that, that set of windows there, and let's see, is there any else... Okay, so that leaves just the bottom row, and uh, the bottom row is a little, um, originally he just kind of like stuck them on there just like these were, um, but uh, they started interfering, I think, with the uh, the furniture and so forth, so uh, it seemed like in between videos, they, they the switches moved to underground, so uh, we're going to do a couple that are going to be underneath. Uh, so let's see, what we can do is just go, let's see, this one, yeah, actually that is one of them. Uh, so I'm just going to dig this out and you have, depending on what you have underneath here, if you have some room, you can, you can attach it right to the bottom like that, or you could even just put it here that, that does it too. Uh, I, I believe he ended 
I don't know. I don't know if I can't recall if I saw ones that were attached to the bottom. It doesn't really matter as long as it works. Uh, and you can just leave them because we're going to let hole. You can just leave that there because uh, obviously we're going to need to uh, take this floor out. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take this row out so I can easily get to any of the extra ones for this side. Uh, let's see. So we've got that one and there's none on that part over here. That's just that top one. Uh, let's see. So here we want to be over at this window here. I'm kind of have to do this backwards. Uh, all right. I'm just going to put it under there. It's a little easier to, to do it that way. Uh, and then right kind of to the right of this one. So this one here, we'll do that one there like that. There we go. And that should be all of them. I'm going to go outside and then look at my, I have a picture in my, in front of me of how the outside is supposed to look. And uh, that looks good there. These are there. That's good. That one looks like we... Perfect. Looks like we got them. All right. We, yeah, we just have to kind of be careful of those bottom ones because they, you know, they, they the switches have to be underground uh, in order for this to work. So then let's, uh, let's start with this side then, I guess. Uh, all right. So the ones where they're going to be visible, we're going to put one up here on that lantern. That's right in the farthest corner you can get. Uh, we're going to skip three and put one here. I'm going to skip four, one, two, three, four, and put one there. Uh, there, it's kind of, you, you start getting into behind the mechanisms there, so we don't have to, to worry about these. Uh, so let's see, the second row, uh, let's go, it's right above the middle of this window. There we go. And then it's right at the left side of that window. Okay. And then on the this, this row, we're going to put one to the right of that window. This is that farthest uh, window on this side and over here and you go to the second lantern to the left of that window and okay so I'm um, going to just knock out this row of grass here so I can put the ones that go underneath because You'll need to take this grass out anyway. That's fine. All right. So ones that go underneath. I see one. Where are you? Where are you? You're here, right? Caddy corner to this window. So this one, I can just kind of attach it to the wall under there. That's fine like that. Okay. looks like a corner over here. Put one under there. Flick that one on. Uh, let's see that one. We have skip three lanterns. One two, three, and we want to light this one up. Skip two, and there's that one. And then the far corner, way down here. Uh, we'll do that. That'll work for that one. Okay, that should do it. And, uh, yep, okay. Let's just double check that again from the outside. On the, I guess, Now, this gets a little, it's kind of tight over here. Uh, let's see, so this is there. Good, that one up there, that window down up, and down there. Yep, that looks good. Okay, like I said, some of these kind of shifted a little bit throughout the uh, throughout the build, so um, these uh, these are going to be the final ones uh, that are lit up. So it's getting it's getting lighter in here. Uh, yeah, and this uh, is going to take a little longer than I hoped, but that we just want to make sure we get these right. I might as well go right around and go ahead and take these out because I know there's going to be more. So I'm just going to take out this bottom edge here so we can easily do these. Uh, even in the back, there are some. Um, plus, we're going to need to knock this out anyway because this row, see how that's, there's nothing under here. This, this is going to end up going straight down anyway uh, in order to uh, place redstone down there, which we're not going to do in this video. Uh, no, we, we will not be doing that. So back here, we need to place this one. It's like Diagonal right to the corner there. Do that one. And then we're going to go skip these two lanterns to the left of that and put that one there. Uh, and then if we go over to and down to, to this one, this is the underground one. And uh, let's put that one. I think we're going to have to get rid of that block there or whatever. So I'm just going to put it underneath. And there was, there used to be one. Now this one might get tricky. I think there was one that was weird that uh, having it on 
activated some of the redstone around here or interfered with it. So uh, we'll keep an eye out on that. We I, I, I seen remember something something that we had to actually. Oh, I know what it was. It was it was there. There used to be one like right here. I think. In fact, I think the switch is probably still there. Um, yeah, that 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 one had to get switched off because it interfered with, with some of the redstone. Uh, so you'll notice that that's uh, no longer lit uh, from the outside if you see that uh, in the video. Uh, okay, so then on the left side here, let's see. We're going to start here at the second lantern of the right, the top row. And let's go down to the next row and right to the, the last the last window there. And then next to the window there, I think there's one in the corner here. Let me see. Yeah, this one right here. That gets uh, gets a little lever treatment there. And uh, I'm going to go out the back, back door here and just make sure we've got everything there. Uh, yeah, that uh, looks right. Uh, so then back on this side, on this inside part, I'm going to have one above the door here. And see, on this row, it's going to be right above this window. And that's it for that row. On this row, all the way to the right there. Then just to the right of the doorway here, we'll put one there. And that's it for that. Okay. Uh, and then we just got this one last wall. And on the first row, all the way on the right side of this window, we're going to do that one. And on the second row, uh, the second lantern in there, put that on. And then one caddy corner, right diagonal to that one, I should say, there. And then to the right of the window, the first lantern you come to there. And for the bottom row, it's just this lantern right there. Yeah, on the uh, third window from the left there. Okay, so that's all the lance lanterns. That's all the switches that we need. And, uh, yep, we're good to go. So what we're going to do is take all this grass and we're going to replace it with polished andesite, which is uh, kind of a new material for, for Stampy. Uh, and uh, you, make sure you leave this amp this row here. Just leave this empty. Um, yeah, just and then everything else. Uh, just change over to the polished andesite, which looks like this, by the way. It's kind of this, you know, it's it's kind of a cool little material. Just um, it's kind of got edges and smooth, and it's kind of kind of a beveled edge sort of look to it. Uh, so let's change all this grass we have left over to that. And I'm gonna pause right here because I, I took the gra the grass is now gone. Now <laughs> underneath, I I've got I'm not sure what you have. You may have solid ground. Or you may hello. This goes all the way over there uh whatnot so i, I just kind of wanted to prepare for the redstone that we're eventually going to do because we need to have we need to have more room like this is no good uh we're, we're going to need to bring this out right off hand i'm not entirely sure but it, it doesn't really matter we can just get rid of, oh this is like a wall here okay so um i'm just going to take this out all the way back to let's just say to here that'll be fine and it won't make any difference if i uh if you do too much because it's just it's there's nothing else to do under here uh, but to, you know, do the redstone. Uh, this uh, this is the uh, extra amount of dirt I put under here um, for the because um, there's going to be some some gravel out there in the, uh, in the in the in the in the in the courtyard. Uh, so that's that's why that's there. We may need to, to, to chisel little bits of this out here. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but we want to make sure. And we've got th at least three, yeah, three blocks here. Ready, one, two, three, and then floor. And yeah, we want to have, we want to have, this is going to be the floor here. So we want to have one, two, three, and then the floor. Okay, yeah. So we want to have like this, it doesn't matter what material you use. So you want this to be a nice solid floor down here. So since you're here, already, you've already peeled the floor off uh, that was above you to replace this. Go ahead and, um, and just, um, I would just do grass. I would do grass at least, at least as far as the walls itself. I we might have to go a little. F eh, we might have to go just a little farther. Uh, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna go a few more blocks beyond it because the the redstone parts of it get um kind of um they get a little bit um it, it gets big in certain parts. Uh, I think down here is mostly just um 
I think in his world, it's it's really just like uh, stone, you know, like smooth stone. Um, so go ahead and, and do that while you're, I'm not going to finish up, but um, I'll do that uh, in, as part of my homework. Uh, so just make sure you have, you know, after you've put the floor in, you want to make sure you have three, three, uh, a three block high room down here and uh, that there's a nice solid floor uh, to put the redstone on once we do that. So that being said, I'm going to continue and let my gonna helper go along and actually we don't want that there anyway. We're just going to bring that to here. Uh, so let's go ahead and fill that floor in with the uh, polished andesite. Lovely. There we go. Uh, and yeah, here we have, we're going to leave this spot because the, all the redstone is going to be behind a, a black wall that we're going to eventually build here. Uh, and then we're going to run the redstone down there and do all the fun stuff that, uh, that we need to do. Uh, so, uh, what do we want to do here? How much time do we have left? Uh, well, we've been pretty efficient with, um, so far. All right. Well, let's, um, hmm, <laughs> all right. Let's just, um, Let's just furnish this outside part here. That should be fairly quick. Uh, I definitely do not want to get started on that uh, contraption that goes back there uh, or the outside part yet because we have to build that huge tree, which thankfully will be very easy uh, to build. So I'm going to get some new materials here. Uh, we need some sandstone uh, for the stairs. We need spruce blocks, uh, spruce planks that is. Uh, we're gonna need some flower pots. That's just gonna uh, kind of look like coffee. Uh, coffee. Uh, we're gonna need some red wool, and I think some, yeah, some cement half slabs or some stone half slabs, I should say. Uh, which are oh, here we go. Uh, so those we make our couches out of there. I'm gonna need some half slabs of the of the spruce as well. And uh, okay, let's go with that. All right, so on this end, this is by the back door here. And, uh, oh, that should be, um, speaking of door, the doorway should be uh, andesite as well. Uh, where is the polished andesite? There we go. All right, let's, before we forget, let's change that out. Okay, so let's see. We're going to start with the chairs, uh, such as they are. Uh, right here in the corner, we're going to face this way, put a table, which is the block of, uh, spruce and then a chair one block away on each side like that and this one is going to have a coffee cup on it and we'll go to the other one it's going to do an exact same thing we're going to start right uh, in front of this one that's lit up put the table in the middle and again here like that with the coffee cup I guess uh, they have to share they're sharing their coffee that's nice nice to share something like that uh, uh, I know we don't have any doors on there. That's going to be an oak door. These are going to be uh, spruce doors over there when we get to that. All right, so then around here is a red couch, which I think moved at some point in its life. Uh, so this is going to be four blocks wide. It does not line up with the window. It, I think it did at some point originally. Uh, so that goes here, and then the half slab for the seats. Oh, so comfy. Uh, the half slab spruce. Uh, one block away from that for a little coffee table and then we're going to do another couch one block away here same exact uh size and shape and color for that matter and there we go so they should look uh like that when you're done okay so then behind this couch one block away we're going to put uh two more seats right uh, lined up with the end of the couch uh so there should be two blocks in between uh, and then one block away from each of those, we're going to put a little coffee table this way and then put seats on the other side, uh, one block away facing that direction. Uh, and there's a coffee cup on, let's see, it's this left one. The right one uh, does not have a coffee cup. And all right, so then we have to go behind here. We're going to build, there's this long table and we just need to leave two blocks of space here and then the, the, the table is going to line up right with this kind of empty space here and it is going to be five blocks long so we've got one two three four five uh, and it's two blocks wide we're going to use our stairs again here one block away here and there's just going to be three on each side and then there when he originally started putting the um switches all around uh, i think it was was it um fizzy i think went kind of crazy uh with the uh the levers and there's there is still a stray one that was in the floor and it's right in between these two seats it does absolutely nothing but um if you wanted to hook it up to something you wanted to be really smart we could figure out a way 
to turn the coffee machine on and off because otherwise it's just running all the time and this would be a, you know a way to uh, make that switch actually useful uh so eh, you know something to consider uh but it is there it it is it is still there uh all right so those three on each side oh and coffee cups uh let's see if we're facing this way um and these these are not necessarily in front of the seats uh that one and then there's one in front of this seat and uh, nope no no not that one this one there we go so it should be like that and now we have these um these kind of um i want to say bars i don't know countertops maybe that that's the way to do it oh we need some stairs some spruce stairs we're going to uh, make some yeah some stairs oh no these are just blocks these are just blocks we didn't need that okay so along this wall starting on the second uh lantern away from that wall from away from this window uh, so we're just going to put that there, one on each end, and then we're just going to take the half slabs and just and just drag them on the top of that, uh, and that will do that. So then we just need to put chairs, and there should be five chairs. We're going to start, I'm going to turn around here, one block away here, two, three, four, five. So everyone is uh, two, you know, a block in between. And then for coffee cups, uh, let's see, there's one in front of that one. Obviously, you're not going to put one there. There's one in front of this one, and then the end one, like that. And that's that section, and we're almost done this uh, seating area. This is good. And we're going to do the same sort of thing here. Uh, we are going to, let's see, where does this go? This starts one block away from the door. Uh, so then we're just going to put one over here and then connect them uh, with the spruce half slabs. Oh, nope, nope, don't do that. And there we go. Now it's moving across. Eh. And the chairs, again, are one block away from the counter, and they're one block apart, and they start, uh, let's see, one block away from the end. So that lines up with that chair right there. Then just do every other one. Do, 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 and there we go. And we just need to put some coffee cups down for these folks, uh, or these slobs, I guess, that left it behind. Let's see, there's one in the corner. No, uh, let's see, where are we? No, no. Yeah, in between these two, I guess they're they're sharing that one. Uh, and then we go to the fourth one, two, three, fourth chair, and that's uh, yeah, it's right to the left of the window. And there's one right to the left side of that window, and then skip one and put it there in front of that that guy there. Okay, uh, right. I think I think that is the entire seating area complete. That was easy peasy. I'm glad we, we knocked that out. Uh, let's just put the doors on and then we're going to call it a day. We're going to come back to this next time and we can, um, we can do the machine here with the uh, redstone. Well, this countertop part should be pretty easy. And then maybe we can do this part. We'll see how the redstone goes. That redstone could take an entire episode because we have to take our time with it because it's a little weird. Uh, it's just a really tight space in there, so you, you can't, um, it, it's just going to be easier to do. So we may have to do two more videos, one for this thing out here uh, and one for the redstone back there. I think that that might be something that we'll prepare for. Okay, so, uh, but and until then, let's see, where am I going to hang out? Maybe maybe over by the couch. Maybe I'm just going to hang out by the couch and say, I'm Darman68, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!